Josh Pendoski here from PendoskiPowerFishing.com and there it is, my special guest, this is my son Cash Pendoski and uh, he's in some of our videos, he's my main little fishing buddy here, I'm going to get him in some more videos here soon and in today's video we are going to talk about barometric pressure and fishing. Now this is probably one of the most important parts of having really, really successful days. You've, if you've seen any of our other YouTube videos, you see that we catch hundreds and hundreds of fish, very often times over a hundred in a day. Um, and we just get out there and slam them. And you know, every fisherman, myself included, has days that are really, really hot and really, really slow as far as the bite. I mean, the temperature is less to do with it. But we're going to talk about barometric pressure or atmospheric pressure. And if you like our videos, if you like learning how we catch fish, uh, go ahead and tell them what we'll do. What we want, what we'd like you to do. We can. You should like and subscribe and turn on all your notifications. That's right. And real quick, uh, as you guys know, we are the home of the Bendoski Power Fishing subscription box. So if you see our other videos, the one that we're actually catching fish in, hundreds and hundreds of them, uh, we put all the lures that we use in those videos inside of this box. It's a monthly subscription and it changes every month. But uh, it's easy access, delivered right to your door, free delivery. And so we just want to mention that in our video. Um, so barometric pressure. So if you guys have seen, and I'll, I'll put in here either a clip of when I did the, uh, the catch and cook of a carp, uh, all fish have an air sac inside of their tummy, okay? And it's how they manage their buoyancy inside of the water, but if you look at barometric pressure, um, it is the, is the pressure of the atmosphere on the water, okay? And so it's falling pressure, if you want to think about it, is the best fishing when, when the pressure is falling because it is, it, it's reducing the pressure on them. So it's like they've got a kind of a tummy ache when it's rising pressure because it's compressing that air sac. And so rising pressure is going to be really hard to catch fish. Even if you go to the same spot that you went to yesterday and you, uh, you see that it is uh, rising pressure, you're probably going to have a far less successful day than you would have uh, the day before if it was falling. So anyways, rising pressure is technically bad fishing. It's not as fantastic for fishing. Steady pressure is kind of normal fishing. You know, that's about the times that... You know, if, if you go to your, your favorite spot and you're used to catching 20 or 30, chances are you'll catch 20 or 30. Um, so uh, it's about 29.9 is, is kind of average pressure, but that's not as important as rising and falling or steady pressure. And the way that I check it, you can get barometers and there's other things that you can get, but the way that I check it is I just go to Google and uh, I'll just do it for an example here, I'll just do it right for you guys. And I just go to my Google and I say barometric pressure orm. or 16 degrees Celsius and feels like 59 degrees Fahrenheit. The barometric pressure is 29.98 measured by inch of mercury units and is steady since its last observation. Perfect. So right now it's 29.98 and steady. So steady is, is decent fishing. That's normal fishing, right? But here's a quick trick that I learned is that Google only updates this because barometric pressure can change in a day. It can change in a few hours. Um, and Google the, the, the voice read isn't, doesn't update this that often, so it's always important to click on your app and actually look at it, because this one gets updated a lot more frequently than the Google side. So uh, then you want to click on the app, that will give you kind of a rough reading, but you want to actually go ahead and click on the app itself and then look. So, so right now, so now that I've clicked on the app, first of all it says um, as of one hour ago. So this has, been, this has been checked within one hour, and it's actually 30.4 and rising. So technically, if we were out catfishing right now tonight, we'd probably have a slow night, to be honest with you, because it's rising, their tummy is getting compressed, the air is getting more pressure. And so um, you always want to click into the actual app itself because it has a much more accurate reading. The Google thing said it was steady, so you might think, oh, it's great, you know, it's actually not bad, but it's actually rising. And so what you want to do is before you go fishing, or if, if you're planning on going fishing, uh, it, it does have it in the forecast, but it's always good to just check it because it does change quite a bit. Um, but that's barometric pressure, and I assure you, if you start tuning into this, you'll first just start understanding, why did I have such a phenomenal day last week, and I went to the exact same spot, the exact same baits, the exact same everything, and I kind of had just a, not as great of a fishing day, maybe I only caught a couple of them. And um, so anyways, if you start watching barometric pressure, I assure you you'll catch a lot more fish and you can plan your fishing trips a little bit better if you have an idea of what it's going to be like the day that you're headed out. 
this one through the ice. Oh yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Catfish right there.